on August 22, 2015. I made a video entitled Feminist Promotes Violence Towards MRAs. It has gotten 336 views, 34 likes, and 5 dislikes. However, by the time I uploaded this video, there will be more people watching it. That video has managed to get the attention of angry bastards, and he said to me, and quote, Thank you for the free press. I truly don't give a flying fuck what you say about my arguments. This comes to shove that this guy is no different from your average feminist. They avoid constructive criticism because they know they can't win in debate. Now, the video I made on him was about Rush V, and believe it or not, he is not only against the MRAs, but he also supports bashing and hurting MRAs. He even said this. Well, just look at the backlash you're getting from these screenshot articles of politicians and newspaper articles. Let me just tell you, MRAs and pick-up artists, if you come to New York City, I will spread like wildfire to the IWW New York, PETA, Greenpeace, the Democratic Party, and various other organizations. I have tons of affiliates who will shut you guys down. I did not edit that video. He said within his own video. And if you want to watch the original video on him, you will see that this man is crazy, and I believe that he's too dangerous to be outside, let alone to be with other people. You can watch the original video in the link, but if you want a abridged version of it, allow me to say it. This man, Angry Bastard, explains that Roosh V is an MRA, even though Roosh is not an MRA, and he's a pickup artist. And he says that Roosh V had it coming to him, even though Roosh has never harmed or touched a woman, the woman was attacking Roosh V, and he has no problem supporting violence when it comes to MRAs. And that alone is sickening because if this was to happen to his idol Anita Sarkeesian, he would be angry and shedding tears. And this is what today's video is about. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. I'm thinking, and I took the screenshot from Reddit, from the Amazing Atheist, I got a photo from Reddit, and I'm using it for this thumbnail of the video. Credits goes to Amazing Atheist. Whoa, you had to use a thumbnail that the Amazing Atheist had in his video. Dude, I don't care if you give credit to him, that's just pure laziness. Sure, my thumbnails are a bit odd and can be bland at times, but at the very least, I could try to make my own thumbnails. I don't even understand why you even need a thumbnail. If you can't come up with your own thumbnail, then the very least you can do is not have a thumbnail at all. It doesn't seem to stop you before, but you most likely did it because of clickbait. That's about it. So, not only are you morally corrupt, but also morally lazy. And I'm not joking when I say this. You need to be put in jail. For making it... I find it very odd, TJ, that your main idol, Meryl Manson, is a, claims to be a radical feminist and... Whoa, where the hell do you get this idea? Nowhere in the video has the amazing atheist said that Marlon Manson is his hero. I would like to see proof of this, otherwise you're just pulling shit out of your ass. And see that he's a radical feminist, but you're so anti-women and feminist. Let's be honest with ourselves. You wanted to say the Amazing Atheist is anti-women, because feminism is pretty much synonymous with women, so if you're against feminism, then you're against women, therefore it makes you a total bigot. You feminists really love twisting the dictionary so goddamn much that I'm surprised you feminists didn't start building your own feminist churches. Meryl Manson claims you're a radical feminist, your idol, but you, you want to be everything he is, but yet you don't want to be a feminist? Again, where the hell do you get this idea? Show me a tweet, show me a video where the amazing atheist was worshipping Marilyn Manson. And don't say it's the video that compares Anita Sarkeesian with Marlon Manson, because at most, he talked about Marlon for a good two minutes and that's about it. So really, it's just another straw man argument. Kind of, kind of peculiar. There was some criticism in the last video from people for Owen and against Owen in my last video. So I'm going to read some of the comments. Overall, the 
similarities between the Sarkeesian uh, and Marilyn Manson are about every motherfucker in that film in the Sarkeesian fact are the same jackasses that criticize and attack Marilyn Manson for his position. Yeah. So you're going to compare people who are part of an interview to join in the Sarkeesian fit to show their side of the story, expose Anita for the fraud that she is, to people who basically just use Marilyn Manson as a scapegoat in order to give themselves an excuse to ban his music. Funny on how you have no problem censoring and going as far as to perform violent acts against the MRAs who bring up issues that are legit problems. But if someone even dares to speak out against Anita, then all of a sudden, you cry misogyny and sexism and how your lord and savior is being censored because someone is calling her out. Again, I believe you need to go to jail because you're a freaking sociopath. Yes, Meryl Manson did a lot of crazy shit that got a lot of hate. Anita doesn't deserve any of it because she critiques fucking video games. No. She's getting hate for a reason. She's already proven to be not a gamer. She steals less play footages, stolen art, barely makes her videos, and when she does, her video quality is no different from before. And at the UN speech she attended to, guess what? If you make a video saying how much she sucks, it's the same as physical harassment. Quite frankly, with a person like that, how can she not be hated? There's no question why you support Anita because you support censorship and only complain if the censorship goes towards your direction and you're willing to perform extreme measures to do so, which is sickening. And to dig deeper than the surface all of the blatantly non-similarities of them, what I can say is that they're both feminists, they were both heavily attacked by hate mobs, both of the Christian right and I guess of the anti-women perspective. Are you fucking stupid? Actually, don't answer that question. I know the answer. Are you so goddamn egotistical that you believe that every person that is criticizing Anita is anti-woman? And I just, I just find it very interesting and, um, about how Anita is like the modern Meryl Manson of hate mobs. And as the, and like, the amazing atheist even said it, but yet he can't comprehend that Meryl Manson's a radical feminist. Have you ever stopped and considered that maybe he isn't a fan of Marlon Manson and maybe he doesn't care if he is or not a feminist? Because that's not exactly the point of the video, you know? My god, you are a watered-down version of Rihanna Wu who is hypocritical, sociopathic, and most importantly, retarded. You know, I expected you to have at least some kind of backbone, but instead you hide like a coward, like any other feminist. And yet he isn't. And it's back to censorship. People tried heavily censoring Meryl Manson, but they couldn't. So why do you think it'll be the same with Neil Sarkeesian? No one is trying to censor Anita, with the exception of a couple of trolls here and there. But let's be honest. If this was some random MRA, like Paul Elam, then you would do everything in your power to quote, spread like wildfire and shut you down. Again, you have no problem with censorship against any group of people you don't like. You remind me of a certain YouTuber by the name of CandyKO10. This little retard complains that I'm bashing his religion that he has grown up on, so he flags me down for harassment. However, he also complains that he's being censored by me because one time I flagged him down for harassment and told me that I'm a coward and again, trying to censor him. Basically, you're the feminist version of Candy KO 10. I know that some of you are going to tell me that I need to drop Candy KO 10, but I'm sorry, but this kid prevented me from getting any amount of cash that I could have gotten as the Atheist Gamer 100 on Google, and now I am stuck with this third party program, which I'm not even sure if it's helping me or not. You, sir, are one of the dumbest and also one of the worst people I have ever come across with. You need to be put in jail and for good. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.